Hello guys, and welcome back. I'm Laser Pirate, and this is King Tom and Baratheon Part 12. Now, last time, we began our war with the Queen Daenerys. Daenerys obviously trying to push her claims for the Iron Throne. Her only supporter, Lord Osmond Bruin. We quickly crushed and captured the almost the entirety of his family. His nephews made it away. Yeah, that's it. So, yeah, he's got no men left, he can't really oppose us, so now we're pretty much only against Daenerys. Her armies have been kind of disappeared, I haven't found those 11,000 after smashing her initial forces. And what we were going to do in this episode is take our men to Marine. So we can possibly find their men, hope they're there, win the war. Now the reason the war score is this slow, despite, you know, great job in battles and taking back King's Landing is she has her daughter. Princess Nella Baratheon is imprisoned, the heir to the Iron Throne. And also my wife Marjorie, though she's bedridden, well she has been so for quite a bit. She's a little useless to me. My daughter is not her heir to the throne. And with those things, we don't have positive war score. So we're gonna have to try to retake the uh, capture Marine so that we can take my daughters. It's got quite a garrison as you can see. What's the attrition after? 16 and a half. Oof. That's rough also. Do we have enough men? We do, we'll take some attrition. That might be the first thing to take though. We have no money for self sword fleets. Let's get rid of the hired armies. We're going to need to carry men there now. Yeah, these guys don't have anything, if I remember correctly. Uh, you get rid of some of your men, I guess. There you go. And you can go on the fleet. You can't? Why not? Come on. Get on that. That makes sense. The Peter King's landing. There you go. I brought the wrong army to me. Hmm. What? Huh. Huh. This makes no sense. He's still there. Huh. Maybe yeah, that's just something I never noticed that shows when the fleas are marked. I don't know. Send you to Marine. It's gonna take a while, so let's keep you guys joined up for now. We'll defend King's Landing as best you can, Ronkenstein Command. For the time being, but we don't trust the Cell Sword. Oh, wait, that whole thing with Ron has already gone down. Ah. Yep, <laughs> forgot about that. We should have probably not trusted him more than we did. Well, it is what it is. Who actually holds Stokeworth? Oh, yeah, Bron does. No, we're so dumb. Yeah, Bron does in Lawless's name. They've had a daughter, Lenora Blair. Wow, she's turning out very well. Hmm, good job, Bron. They've got a fleet there. We've got Sir Timian's armies joining up. The men of Ironwood. Is the ship going back? It is. That's good for us. We could ransom the Bruin family, we do need gold, and we do still hold his lands. So let's ransom them, if he can pay for any of them. It doesn't look like he could, so money's pretty much the same. We're making some money though. Oh wait, no, one. Can't go prestige. Ugh, that's pretty bad. We need to take Marie. There they are. Found them. And it looks like he's embarking everyone. Hmm. We might want to turn back. You know what I'll do? I'll stay here while we have a view and see if they embark all of them. Then if they do, we will turn this army back to King's Landing. If not, we'll keep them. Let's see what they do. It's like they're waiting for more cell swords. That's the forces Victorians commanding those 300. Ah, we don't have a view on them, do we? 
Brent wouldn't have to come to close in to slay his bay. Need a new commander, something we do. That is fine. Really? I just named Lawrence Trent, that's fine. That's kind of whatever. Uh, do you want to change your commander? Gilbert Fark. No, he's a real lord. I don't think we trust him as much. What about Harry and Carstow? Hmm? He's been loyal enough. You know what? Yeah. I'll grant him some land if I can. South Carstow has served us loyally since that whole mess in the stars. And let's actually send my spy master, my little slint, to the slaver's road so we can know what's going on about there. We will fall back here to the western Gulf of Greece and we can have a nice little advantage over them. Because they're going to be bringing dragons if they're bringing everyone. I want to know who we're going to be facing. Actually, fall back all the way there just for the morale. So we're going to need morale also. See if you can ransom someone now. What is my plot? What am I doing for plot? Eh, I don't think it's necessary to kill someone if we're trying to rescue my daughter. I don't think people will be too pissed off about that plot. Seems like a pretty reasonable one to me. The day bark, they did. And they're moving away. Crap. Well, that means Iron Throne Fleet, go back to King's Landing. We need all our men there. We're going to be fighting dragons again. Although not directly, because I always sit with the command of a small force, only so as to not be drawn into the battle. Uh, yeah, I'm trusting information myself. Hasn't betrayed me yet, so no reason for it. Edric Storm is... Hmm, Benathon Baratheon's still in charge. Yeah, that's right, Donald's not wanted. God damn it! Get that war done, for God's sakes. Ooh, he turned out pretty well. Stannis is worth. Sir Stefan as well. They have a couple of decent fighters. And they're Faith and Seven. Stannis somehow became Valyrian Faith? No idea how oh, that happened, but okay. We can invite Sir Stefan C. Wolf to be in the King's Club. Not necessarily high bone, but I high bone enough. Lester Morgan has tried to pay us through Richard Morgan. Person that he has gone with him. Here are my men, we join them up. Command is Valon, Ronet, and Blackfish. Come on, men. I need you to be strong now. You're probably going to be facing dragons. It is no easy task. Where are they? Just scout out a little. There they are. You can come back to King's Landing. Where are they going to dock? They're not going to dock directly on us. I doubt that, so where are they going? Ooh! Woodmere, it appears. We're going to have to charge into them. Which I'm all for. There you go. Quickly get them while the round's still a little lower. And actually, before we engage, Daenerys, are you there? No, she's in Marine. She's defending the walls. <gasps> no! They lifted the siege. She let 300 men out on her dragon and smashed the Stark forces. Ooh, so Throwdown's gotten pretty effective, hasn't he? Damn, 27 Marshall, he's getting up there. Ugh. Victorian, tell me you're in Marine. He's in Marine. Right, he's with Daenerys. That's perfect. How's Bainham? What's he doing? Nothing. Does he have a dragon egg? He does have a dragon egg, so he's gonna have his own plan. Fantastic. Well, we're gonna engage, it seems, the Miranese people, Hero, and the Unsullied is who we're gonna engage. That's fine by me. There's Drinkwater, that was the strong. We'll send our fleet to Woodmere. Ah, thanks to my leadership during the Battle of Woodmere, your experience in matters of war has increased. And there are many things you will do differently in future battles. What will you focus on? Would he experiment with tactics, learn to inspire, focus on defense, or focus on attack? I think Gregarious might have something to do with the learning to inspire, you know, talking more to the men. Whether he's defensive or attacking, I don't think he's much for attacking. He's the old marshal on his own. Not that that would make you, you know, a defender. I just don't see him being very aggressive in warfare. 
And I'm not sure he knows how to experiment with tactics because he's so bad at martial. I think probably going to inspire the best. So let's do that. It was obviously the king. That on its own is inspiring. Had the king leading them in. Smash their forces to only minimal losses. Great. We will chase them down, actually. Whatever remnants of their armies will be smashed as well. They're going to Fellwood. Ooh, that's bad. We're going to be there two days later, but that's, that's fine. They won't be able to run for just a couple of days later. And it's not going to be the Fellwood. There you go. Grandview. Gotcha. Grandview. Bring it on. Doesn't look like it's going to be Grandview. Probably Fountain. Maybe where the battle is. We're going to keep chasing it down, see what it, what happens. Let's go, let's go, okay. Ah, they did charge us. Ooh, great. We got there before them. Uh, Duran, the spy master. They have to investigate the rumors of the plot. I mean, it's not really necessary, but sure. That's the only option. It's weird that that's the only option. The plot's like ours, especially. We slaughtered them. Ooh. Crack Horn of Corpus Lake, one of the Ironborns who was granted land, died under suspicious circumstances in Lord Reaver. Willis the Hunter is in here. So Mace is dead. I didn't even notice that, I don't think. Willis has two daughters, Olivia and Helena. Helena betrothed Metro Lena and Lake Twisted. Well, it's fine. Orlin has two sons, so Tyrell is pretty much secure. It looks like. Not really much chance of us getting it. Plus, Ah, we captured a Dothraki, Ego Sunsako, a member of the Brave Companions. <gasps> she hired the Brave Com- Ah, that bitch will go to- Oh, man, hire the- Hire these treasonous sellswords. Well, would they pay for a Dothraki? They will. He can afford his own ransom. So we might just ransom him back because we are in need of gold. Yeah, you know what? Anyone can ransom the cells. We'll be given, unless it's like a really high lord, especially a Miranese one. The, the Baroons are kind of whatever, because we have their lands already, so even by capturing them, they can't raise any men. They just have to wait, even if he could ransom himself back, which he can't because he's not making money. Recruit soldiers. I want King's Lightning to be at full recruiting speed. They want to send 50 ships back, so that means they're going to recruit more men. King's Landing needs men. We only have 100 men guarding the gates. And I was considering leaving some men there. You know, when we end up all perfect, they're running to the worst possible place in the world. Great. Oh, they've got a decent force there, led by Victorian, too. There's not much we can do about Marine, is there? We should that? Yeah, that controls the Iron Throne. Little thing that gives us bonus. And that'll keep increasing until she takes our land. Which for her will probably be easy to King, King's Landing. So we might just have to go to King's Landing and wait it out. Because we don't have enough ships to send a no good amount of men. Victoria actually has 5,000 men raised. And if we send men, we can only send about 5,000 at a time. They'll be smashed by Victorian before we can even get the enforcements there. As you are working, Mr. Myself, for to your study, your grace, you have been up all night again. It would be in your best interest not to work so hard, lest you shall collapse from exhaustion. Am I a danger, man? Perhaps you're right, I will heed your advice. You can take it easy, or the realm never rests. So neither shall I. Would he not rest? Huh. He's charitable, so he might want to give to the realm as much as possible. You know, he might not care as much about his own. Benefits and more for the realm. That's one thing. He's a little depressed with life, so I don't think he wants to take it easy. I think he just wants to keep his head buried and work. That's seems me. Or maybe you know, depression can be doing the work, and you might not want it. One of the two. Although I'd probably go with a second. I think that might be more. Like he hasn't gone stressed, thank God. During the past few months, Eustace has shown dog determination in his studies of our language and also has now expressed a desire to study the history of my people's ancestors. I should encourage it. He becomes a clawman. He's already a clawman, but he could become it again. 
for make sure you learn about his own person. Sure, encourage it. Let him become a claw man. Oh, he became a king slime. Well, that's fine. Good bug. I like it. So apparently he loves you know the crown lands now, and he's part of our things. He's that's that's cool. That's you know he has to learn. We're, all, we're always like, yeah, sure, we'll talk to you. You're Gary's man. Sure, here you go. We do like house boon, I don't want to end them. We have spies here telling us what to do. Amina Lambert, god damn it! They're raising more men. They've got a fleet ready to carry whatever army she can take, but she's keeping, it seems, the 4,000 to retake the Demon's Road. Oof. But we are starting to improve that control of the Iron Throne buffer is giving us a lot. Great! Lord Freeholder Morgaz the Tyrant declared Miranese Legion and swore on Queen Daenerys. Back name is the Lord of Vadlan, Vad, 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 that's, yeah, him, <laughs> with, ooh, ooh, really? Events spawned 5,000, where are your men? There they are. So they have 5,000 men, yeah, I'll start with that, and uh, who's the other one? You, Miranese, okay, how many do you have? 1,000. So that's 6,000 men who are going to piss off Daenerys for them. She's hiring more mercenaries. She'll just never stop, will she? She has enough gold to hire a shit on mercenaries. She's hired the Windblown. That's who she's hired now. Uh, who else is there in a, in, in a contract with her? Am I passing by someone? I feel like I am. Uh, no, 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 what about the brave companions? What happened to them? The brave companions. She let them go because they've been obviously destroyed. There's 90 left of them. <laughs> you just get kind of killed the brave companions. That's cool. Cool, three toes. Cool. Get out of there. She's just hiring more mercenaries. We're actually going to get attacked by the Yerks. Yeah, her gold is dwindling also. She doesn't have the gold to continue a war on two fronts. That's great for us, because we're just going to hold King's Landing. Hope we can win this. Uh, what's our personal levies actually at? A thousand. Hmm. Could they have given the Red Keep Regiment back? Would reinforce King's Landing a little. You know, give it a thousand men. Keep our gold faster. Plus, with the Iron Lords here, we don't really need them much. So, you know what? That's what we will do. Send our man back home. That'll help garrison it, which is going to be ideal. And I'll stay in the throne. I'll take my seat at the throne. Your Grace, your daughter, Princess Yunella, is most uncooperative. How do you know that? She's in Daenerys' dungeons. How are you? Of course, she's not responding to your tuition. She's not with you. You dim-witted old fool. How's he my friend? Foolish child, lost on the throne, see. Okay. Uh, can I even take the... I should be able to take the loan, shouldn't I? Hundred. Only a hundred for the King of the Iron Throne? I think it'd be like two hundred or something. Uh, ransom. Ransom, I don't care to command a cunning to the statue. Who are you attacking? Hmm. Ravellus claim... Okay, claim a weeping talents, whatever, for me. That's just more men to piss off the Baratheons for fighting off the war for my claims on the Stormlands and somehow do not lose because these idiots cannot take Rainhouse. God damn it, Swans. Can I join? Can I join your war? I can. Ooh, I will join your war then. I'll send my men to the Stormlands. My courtier Gendry. Who is this man? Uh, I don't know you. He's just a random Kingsland boy. I can't give money to everyone, but I guess I am charitable. God damn it, Charity. I don't think I've given a lot, but I think since I'm charitable, I'll give him basic equipment. You know, he's just a random peasant boy asking for money. So he can learn his trade or whatever. I don't know. Learn stuff. You might have to take Dragonstone. Except that that's brilliant. He also joins his allies, despite not joining that war. Ooh, the war is horrible. Now, 
Just leave the Pirate of Baratheon. He's captured the Baratheons. Great. The moment I join is when the war ends. Thank God for you guys. I will just fall back. This will give me the Stormlands, which is fantastic. Transfer Kin of the Stag. Huh. What's Kin of the Stag? Is that a book? Do do do. Kin of the Stag. Kin of the Stag. I'm not seeing it. There it is. King of the Stag is a work by Mr. Hubert, who suggests that Galadon Morn was a stork figure in more recent times, and not some rude warrior from the Age of Heroes. Grants me prestige and Stormlander opinion plus three. Those are okay. That's fine. Why is this equip? Yeah, you should be equipped. Gives me martial and prestige. Yeah. Forgot to equip some stuff, apparently. That's fine. All that's fine. So now I need Blue Lord for the Stormlands. There you go, just want those little things to go out. Hmm. I could revoke Storm's End, couldn't I? I what? I don't have a claim on Storm's End, I should. I really should. Okay, so I'm gonna make a new lord. Stonehelm plus my claim. Stonehelm will be granted the lands. Yeah. The well, Cunningtons have been loyal. Red Ron has been extremely loyal, but he didn't press my claim. He just kinda answered his call for what is meant to me. So did the Morgans. They actually betrayed me. The swans, on the other hand, they didn't pack status, they packed Remley, but I'm pretty sure they didn't pack status. You know, his brother's the my lord commander. How swan will be risen up? How stone will be in terms of Decent castle, but nowhere near the ranks of Storm's End. Although he has no claims on Stormlands, unless he fabricates one. This asshole will. Can I take all your lands? I should be able to take something from you. God damn it. Ugh. Fine. Uh, hmm. You could call your men first. I don't think that's... Yeah, no. I'll grant it to you, and then call your men. Here you go. Stormlands. All yours, my lord. First putting field. What are you guys doing? Vassalization. End the knee. Once they bend the nail, grant the land to the Stormlands. Just don't want, you know, the plotting field to be out. There you go. Congratulations, Lord Donald. You have earned yourself the title of the Stormlands. Congratulations are surely in order. Can you give me men now? 2,000. Let's see if you can get some more. And not get drawn into Mega War. Please don't get drawn into Mega War. Please. Hello, the guard. It's only got 8,000 men. Oh, vassals. Do they like him? Hmm. This is well. This is wrong on its own. But they look okay. Some of them like him. Some do not. But it looks like none major lords. See what doesn't. A couple of major lords do not. Does he put him under someone? He's actually under you. You granted him something. Yeah, you vassal transferred. So he actually likes your students and supports you. Smart man. There you go. You have a fleet. You do. Twelve ships will be greatly appreciated. They will be brought to... No! <laughs> God damn it! The uh, mega system kicked in right before I was able to take the men I needed. Ugh. What are you doing then? Nothing. You're not even backing me. Dono... I just granted you the Stormlands. I get your rebuilding, but you've got to back me. You know? He probably wants Rainhouse, doesn't he? Yeah, he's gonna want that. I want to kill him. I should be able to revoke title without being called a tyrant. Huh. Helen asks, since we all die anyway, why be so hassled about life? Huh. Would he be like, hmm, I suppose you're right. But what about the enjoyment? Hmm. Huh. Well, he's, so well, he's a depressed man. So I don't think he's hassled about life or enjoyment at all. I think he's probably, huh, oh, suppose you're right. There is no point to life. Huh. Yeah, there you go. We can actually get Dragonstone's men for all that's what. Ooh. Hello, we can get Dragonstone's fleet. 
That's worth a little. Nine ships? Really? Richard Hort is also Lord of Dragonstone? I want Dragonstone. It should be mine. Okay, can I retract the vassalage from you? No, you have the High Lordship. You know, I should be able to revoke the High Lordship without being called a tyrant. And I still. I'm not called a tyrant, but I will be. You know what? Screw it. If I am called a tyrant, I am. I can't, you know, sit by and think, I'm gonna revoke this crap and boy, keep all his lands. You know, Dragonstone is ours. Although maybe he might come and, you know, Cersei's no longer in the picture. It's Stannis' grandson. It's my nephew. What I know? Stannis is still around, probably talking to Benethon and encouraging him. Hmm. Don't know. I think already letting him keep the Lordship is a big deal. I don't think we can let him keep the High Lordship of Dragonstone. I think it's already merciful enough, but... You know what? We're gonna leave him. He hasn't done anything. Stannis was the traitor and he's lost his lands. He has paid for that. Will you come to, to die? You will not. Can I assassinate you? I will get no support. Well, hello! King Tom, after listening to a group, advice of the group of my batterman led by Lord Janice Baraman of Sharp Point, I hereby relinquish my position as Lord of Dragonstone. Janice Baraman, what have you done? You have forced the boy to relinquish his position to Baynar Targaryen. Ah, you fool. Well, there's a good and a bad side to this. The good side being, I can now siege Miranese land. The bad side being, they have my land. Uh, okay, okay. I know what we'll do. We'll send 6,000 men to Dragonstone. And we'll send the other forces to Rainhouse. There you go. Now we don't have a whole lot of men. Those 6,000 are going to cost us quite a bit. You know what? Let's just send these 4,600 led by Lord John. Give you new commanders now. John Stark's actually one of our commanders for whatever reason. He shouldn't be. He shouldn't have a title. It's just in general, he's no longer being backed by anyone. Revoke your title, the North. Imprison you, you are a deserter. God damn it. You know what? I don't even care anymore. You can do whatever, John. You're just not gonna be a commander now. You're just wandering around. John the Just, sure. Firing no. Oh more Tyrell, how's that? You know what? I'll let Herring Karstark prove himself to me. Give him command of this army. With him, I will send. Well, I'm sending the old swan, Rindon Tully, and probably Torben Langwood to take Greenhouse. I don't think I trust Bronn anymore, despite what he's. You know what? He's helped us in these past wars. So I'll give Bronn command of a flank. And Lord Norton guards. Some high porn lords can go with Harry and Karstark. You're on the ships already. Let's have you sail for Dragonstone. This army, Balon Swan, bringing the Blackfish and Torben Landward. We'll go to Rainhouse. There you go. Ah! I didn't see that! Well, this. Well! At age 32, your acquaintance with Queen Daenerys and Marine died under suspicious circumstances. That is fantastic. Whoever did that, thank you very much. Because now King Baynar Targaryen rules the Iron Throne. He doesn't even have a dragon yet. Sorry, rules Marine, not the Iron Throne. So the only dragon they have is Victorians. If we can assassinate Victorian, that would pretty much win us the war. Hmm. We've got some men near Dragonstone. We'll attack them, those 200 men. We'll probably be okay. Your grace will honor my allegiance to take up arms to defend the realms against the Iron Throne's enemies. So it seems he's finished his war with Volmark. And he's joining us 
Thank you, Lord Dennis Baelish. You will be granted the remaining of the Riverland lands. Of the sword's done, do not fret about that. For even a second, Dragonstone is under siege. It will take a while being Dragonstone. Can't quite well assault that, can we? So let's get going to Rainhouse. You're taking a while. First, fifth, fifth. How many men does Rainhouse have? 96, but there's a chance we will capture King Bay. Bane. Hmm. This episode has been going on for a while, but I think we'll take Rainhouse and then probably end it. Let's see. Let's see what happens. Because it could be that Rainhouse King Bane on is gonna So that would end the war for the time. We'll have to see what happens. Come on. Get going. Fourth of July, they are taking their sweet ass time. Dragonstone is still under good siege. So let's send the fleet, actually to Rainhouse, so that we can probably carry them at Driftmark after Rainhouse has been sieged. Assault the keep. Was he captured? No. Was anyone captured? No. None. No one. None. <laughs> no one. Taking that. This will give us some gold, which is always helpful. There you go. All of Rainhouse has fallen. Oh, it's that Unella Lannister thing that's really keeping us losing the war. Let's board you, send you to Sharp Point and Driftmark. I'm going to the Gullet, 700 men, about 900. Driftmark has more. We will. Attack them at Driftmark, board again, go to Sharp Point. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, so they can't sail these men out there. Out of there, and then I forget. Aw, oh, you dicks. They did get them out. Let's go to Sharp Point then. He has 10,000 men. King Baynard has issued a call to all the subjects, promising glory and wealth to anyone who can master Dragon in his lands. No doubt he feels he needs Dragon Riders to win the war. If he succeeds, so he's inviting anyone to tame his dragons. <gasps> That's bad for me, because he's now got 10,000 men gathered up, and recruiting a hundred more per month. This young boy might be a bigger issue than I... Yes! <laughs> Thank you, Appleton. They managed to poach Victorian from Baynard's court, they invited him apparently, and he went. He would join me! Victorian? So if I invite- so Victorian would forsake the Targaryens. Join me. Okay, let's look at this from a roleplay perspective. Kinda like the Tyrell thing. We could be like, we'll promise you, you know, pardon for your past crimes, for joining the Targaryens, if you would join us as a commander, provide us use of your dragons, and then, once we take the Iron Isles back, we will grant you Pike. We will grant you the Isles. You will rule them. House Greyjoy will be landed once more. I think that's a fantastic idea. House Greyjoy is at the end of its rope. We got Victorian and got Prince of Sources. No, Victorian needs to make a deal to keep his house going. He's out to left for a reason. Let's invite Victorian. We're just going to go along with that as kind of the roleplay reasons. I think that makes sense. I can see that happening. Why are we losing attrition? What's going on here? Hmm. He has joined me. We obviously need your dragon. Very much. What sword do you will? Oh, Valyrian steel armor. And the skull of Ash of Greyjoy. Wow, that's dark. As one stares at the empty sockets of the excitedly human skull, it's not uncommon to experience both fascination and devotion. It is a reminder of our impending death and for some, a satisfying deed. Did you kill her? Or did Euron kill her? It seems more like Euron's doing. No, she died of cancer and for whatever reason, we have the... her skull. It's weird. It's weird, man. Shouldn't do that. Anyway, I think I'm gonna end this here. You know, we've been going on for about 30 minutes. Hmm. They've actually boarded a couple of men here, the Driftmark men. 
we've got Victorian outside, a lot of stuff has changed. Danny's dead, Baynar rules, Targaryen, the Targaryen invasion has pretty much been, you know, put down. The Lord Paramounts have joined me, Westerland's Vale, Trident, even the High Septon, we've got the Stormlands obviously on side, you know, we got the Westlands who join me, these guys join me, they'll join me. Dorn North is obviously also on side, although they're still rebuilding, so they didn't join. What? What's going on? God damn it, the Slits lost the war. <clears throat> That's something else to deal with. Apparently, this was the Northern Revolt that was going on, I remember that. The little peasants. God damn it. Wow, you idiots. He lost the revolt. Well, that's bad for me, isn't it? The liberation of the North was won, so there's a king in the North once more. So after this war is done with the Targaryens, we're gonna first claim the Iron Isles, rank Victorian Pike. Well, I'm not sure about the Iron Isles. You know, they were built twice. We will rent on Pike, possibly the Iron Isles. You know, the young Volmark boy has been raiding our lands, as did his father. They've been pretty bad. And they're at war with Dorne. Then we're gonna have to retake the North, find a new Lord for the North, because the Slints are obviously incompetent. Since, you know, for whatever fucking reason, they decided to keep Highpoint, which on its own is already dumb as shit, as their capital. Out of, you know, they had pretty much all the Lordships, you know, in this far North. And they decided to keep High Point as their capital? Really? Out of all those castles. And now, you know, he's got a line, but he's lost the north, so we're going... Hmm. 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 He's gotten a lot of... Faith of the Seven Lords going there, though the lines are still old guys. Yeah, you look at all these. That's still north. Hmm, that's the north. Faith, faith, faith. That's faith? Yeah, that's faith. The Mormons are still north. They're still living. We're, we might have to grasp back to Slate, see how long he can hold it. There are no lords until they're fully dead. Uh, you know, all the other lords, all the other lord paramounts are loyal. They're joining our causes. The Slates, they're kind of facing their own rebellions and stuff. Their issues with the north. So, well, they'll stay with us. The twins are also overloaded. I didn't find this is new. Or maybe I just didn't notice. That's interesting. You know, you had Winterfell fall to ruin. The twins fall into ruin, I find to be a very nice piece. That seems very good after what has happened with the White Walkers invading having smashed the twins. Uh, hmm, what happened to it? It was the last hold. Oh, it was, yeah, actually, after the White Walkers. House Frey obviously still lives, 32 members. Who is actually technically in line coming from Walder Frey's line? Who would be next to rule? Does Pimple still have any? He does. He has a, a granddaughter from Peter Pimple, Lady Leonella Frey, declared incapable by our council with Maester Lucas Blandish, Master Lucas Blandish, ruling in her name. Her heir is a Catherine girl. And she is not doing too well. She rules from Freelance. Heh, <laughs> fitting. After them. Oh, your line is dead, isn't it? <laughs> jingle bells, goddammit. I've actually seen quite a couple of times in which jingle bells inher inherits like the Freelance and then rebels against me. I... So dumb. Am I? You're a slow guy, aren't you? Uh, yeah, then it would probably be through M uh, Emon's line. It would probably be Tywin to rule Riveron. Yeah, that would make sense. He's probably sorry to rule the twins. He seems to be second in line. We're gonna have to colonize the twins. Granted, probably the Lord Riveron's Lord Baelish or to the phrase. But I think we're going to grant it to Lord Baelish to do with it as he sees fit. First, we're going to colonize Winterfell. We have, and we don't even have money to colonize anything. We have to get ourselves unbankrupt first, but we're going to have to colonize stuff. Nice that the capital of the North needs colonizing, because we can grant it to the Chosen Lord of the North. 
things are looking interesting. I'm liking how things are going in this play group. I've been droning on anyways because I said I was going to end this up five minutes ago. <laughs> uh, so yeah, we've done a lot in this episode. Danny dead, Targaryen's almost put down, yada yada yada. Hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, please do like and comment and subscribe, obviously. I'll see you guys in the next episode.